Good morning. It's Monday the 17th of October. You may have heard the phrase, every day is a school day, meaning there's always something new, something to learn. Sometimes that's more obvious than at other times. Since arriving in Grassington over three years ago, that's certainly been true. Living in a rural community for the first time, there was a lot to learn. One of the many things to adjust to was the appearance of animals in the road. Being stopped at Threshfield whilst the cows crossed the road at milking time. Often slowing down for escaped sheep that were making a bid for freedom, as I've mentioned in a previous reflection. Last week there was a first though. I was driving back from Malham, having just gone over a narrow humped bridge, when I saw a large bull running at speed towards me. My first reaction was, will it just keep coming? as it didn't seem phased by the appearance of the car. I couldn't go forward as the road was too narrow to go round the bull, and I'm not sure that would have been a good idea anyway. And I didn't really want to risk trying to reverse over the bridge, as you couldn't see if anything was coming from the other side. And I'm not really sure I would have been quick enough to get away from the bull, who was still approaching very quickly. Just as I thought I'd run out of options, apart from sitting still and hoping it would show no interest in me, the farmer came speeding down the road on his quad bike, pulled suddenly in front of the small gap between me and the bull. The bull was not amused, judging from the noise it made, but it was enough to make it turn around and head back the way it came. The farmer also quickly turned around, drove alongside the bull, and managed to steer it up an even narrower side road, presumably from where it had first appeared. It certainly wasn't the drive home that I'd been expecting. I'm used to have to pull in frequently to let vehicles pass in the narrow lanes, even reversing carefully at times. But the bull was definitely a first, and something I hope doesn't happen again. In that time of need, with little time to think, I shut up an arrow prayer. Arrow prayers are quick short sentence prayers asking for God's help while we're in the middle of a crisis, problem or daily activity. We might traditionally think of prayer as setting aside time to quietly and thoroughly converse with God about big things. We may even worry if we're using the right words in our prayers. However, arrow prayers play an important role by bringing prayer into the activities of life in the heat of the need of the moment. After the incident with the bull, I later reflected on some words I'd preached on on Sunday the 9th of October when the lectionary reading was about Jesus healing the ten lepers, but only one of them coming back to say thank you. The writer Anne Lamott says her two favourite prayers are these. In the morning, help me, help me, help me. And at bedtime, thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe those seem simplistic, but they acknowledge our reliance on God and how, like that leper, it is right to give thanks and praise. Those short prayers got to the heart of what I needed to say as the bull approached and after it had been safely directed away. And they serve as a reminder to me about how easy it can be to pray. So let us pray. Holy God, thank you that we can pray at any time and in any way, without the need for long sentences or complicated words. Whatever and however we pray, you hear and respond. Thank you. Amen.